Bonjour! Bienvenue à French with Joe. Welcome to French with Joe. It's good to see you again. J'espère que vous allez bien. I hope you're well. And ready to learn some new French words. Excellent. Okay, are you sat comfortably? Because where we need to begin is, of course, with our bonjour song. So have you got your waving hands ready? And you're going to wave at all your friends. Let's start. Ready? Bonjour, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Bonjour, bonjour, très bien, merci beaucoup. Bonjour, bonjour, je suis contente d'être ici. Bonjour, bonjour, avec tous mes amis. Très bien, il sait bonjour, Joe. <laughs> Bravo, merci. Now, what are we going to do today? First of all, we've got to remember our songs that we do at the beginning of each lesson. Okay, so the first song after our bonjour song is of course about our Miller who's fallen asleep. Can you remember the name of it? It is Meunier Tu Dors. And do you remember we have to be all sleepy? Meunier tu dors. And then what happens? Oh la la! Le moulin tourne très très vite et très très fort. Okay, are you ready? Let's sing it with some music. Okay, let's start. So, ready? <laughs> Our clapping song. So different actions. Do you remember we have to go tap a tap and then we turn, tourne, tourne, like a windmill, and then we're going to go swimming, nage, nage. Who swims like that? Of course, un poisson. And the last one, vole, 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 comme les oiseaux, like the birds in the sky. Okay, let's do it. So tap a tap a petit main. Tap a tap a petit main. Tourne, tourne, petit moulin. Nage, nage, petit poisson. <laughs> vole, vole, petit oiseau. Petit oiseau a bien volé. Petit poisson a bien nagé. Petit moulin a bien tourné. Petite main ont bien tapé. Ooh, bravo! Excellent. We've got to one of my favorite bits of the lesson where we do our counting. Can you remember all your numbers in French? Hmm. Let's have a practice. We're going to first of all use our wiggly fingers. And we're going to count up to 10. Bravo! Now, let's start with 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Then the next ones go 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's sing it together. Ready? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
7, 8, 9, 10. 9 et 10. Super. <laughs> Let's see if we can go higher. But we're going to sing our bongo song for that. Do you remember? We've got your bongos ready. You can use the table or the floor or your laps. The laps are very good. Les genoux. And we'll use the music and we're going to go up to, all the way up to 20. So do you remember it goes 11, 12, 13 with our bongos, 14, 15. Remember, lift our arm up into the air. 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, really low. And then 20, 20, 20. Big explosions there. Are we ready? That was very nice. Excellent. Whew, so we've done our counting. We've done our bon, uh, bonjour song, manier tu dors, tapa tapa tourne tourne. How about we do one of my favourites, which is wind the bobbin up. Enrouler le fil, dérouler le fil, tire, tire, tap, tap, tap. Okay, remember, and do you remember our tra la la la's in between? Of course, off we go. Get your bobbins ready. Enroulez le fil, déroulez le fil, étire, étire, et ta ta ta. Enroulez le fil, déroulez le fil, étire, étire, et ta ta ta. Tra la 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 la. your bobbins they were very wound up and you didn't let them go and you pulled and you pulled and you clapped 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 <laughs> Très bien. it's very similar to our song very good so now we're going to sing a new song and well it's not new because you've sung it before but it's new today and it's called une coccinelle can you remember what une coccinelle is if i give you a clue Oh, it's an insect. And we often refer to it as a girl or a lady. It's usually red with black spots. Have you guessed what it might be? Did you say ladybird? Then you were right. That's la coccinelle. And do you remember our coccinelle is very cheeky because it likes to climb all over us oh, and land on our head. Sur la tête. <laughs> in this song, do you remember, our ladybird flies into the sky, up high, as high as you can go. You can use your hands as pretend ladybirds with wiggly fingers. The ladybird goes up high, la coccinelle monte au ciel. And we sing, petit point rouge. We say that she has red spots because she then moves very fast. Do you remember we say, Petit point rouge, elle bouge. 
Can you make your hand move really, really fast? Like that, ding, 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 in all directions. And then the next one is petit point blanc. So, white spots. Elle attend. She waits. Pretending to cross the road. Remember, we look both ways. Elle attend. And the last one, we have to say goodbye. So we say petit point noir. So her black spots, which we can see there. Au revoir. Petit point noir, coccinelle, au revoir. Okay, so first one, she's moving. The second one, she stops and waits. And the last one, she says goodbye and she flies off. Okay, let's do it with our music. So if you don't have a ladybird, then you can use your hand as a pretend one with wiggly fingers. Ready? Off we go. Oh, when you make your coccinelle, climb up your arm, onto the shoulders, sur les épaules. Coccinelle, demoiselle, bête, bon Dieu. Coccinelle, demoiselle, monte vers les cieux. Petit point rouge, elle bouge. Petit point blanc, elle attend. Petit point noir, coccinelle, au revoir. Au revoir, coccinelle. Let's sing it one more time. Are you ready? Ooh, creeping up the arm. Ooh, and then it comes down. Coccinelle, demoiselle, bête à bon Dieu. Coccinelle, demoiselle, monte vers les cieux. Petit point rouge, elle bouge. Petit point blanc, elle attend. Petit point noir, coccinelle, au revoir. Bravo, well done. That's a lovely song, a very simple one about la coccinelle. Maybe you could try and make one at, in your nursery. Okay, so we moved on from coccinelle. I think it's time that we discovered what we're going to learn today. Now, we are going to look at a very special creature today. We're going to follow its journey and discover its life cycle. Now, a life cycle means how does it start off in life? How does it come into the world? And what changes does it see throughout its life? Now, this is a very special one because there are lots of changes. But we're going to use our box for you to guess what that creature is inside and what we're going to be talking about the next couple of lessons. So I've got my box here. Can you see la boîte magique with our papillon? with our butterflies on the box. So we're going to find out what's inside. So do you remember what we have to do? We have to knock. So everybody get their knocks ready and we're going to knock on the table. I'm going to knock on the box and we say, toc, toc, toc. You do it. Toc, toc, toc. Qui est là? Bravo. Toc, toc, toc. Qui est là? I can't hear anything. I hope something's in there. Oh, feels like there's something wiggling about in there. Let's open it up. Ready? Un, deux, trois. J'ouvre la boîte. Oh, I can see something in here. I'm going to hide it a little bit so you don't see for the moment. And I'm going to talk to you in French a little bit about who's inside the box. First one. Now, I said this before, but c'est un insecte qui peut être de toutes les couleurs. Ils sont souvent la même couleur de leur environnement pour se camoufler. So, it's an insect. C'est un insecte avec qui peut être toutes les couleurs. What do you think that means? He can be all sorts of colors and usually... It's the same colour as the environment around it. So if it's on a green leaf, it might be a green caterpillar so that its prey doesn't catch it. No, so its predators don't catch it. Number two. Les oiseaux et les guêpes. 
aime les manger. Oh, so apparently, birds and wasps, les guêpes, like to eat them. Hmm, okay, let's think, what could it be? Last go, last clue. Il mange des feuilles. Mange des feuilles et des fruits. Et dans une certaine histoire, il a toujours très faim. Now in this one, il mange des feuilles. So he eats leaves, les fruits, fruits. And in a certain story, he's always hungry. I wonder if you've guessed what it could be. Let's see, he's poking his head out. Can you see inside the box who is there? Did you guess right? Yes! Oh, isn't he beautiful? Lots of colours. It's a caterpillar. Now in French we say une chenille, une chenille. Bonjour la chenille. And there's a very famous story which you might know called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And next week we're going to read the story together and explore his journey. So, la chenille. Merci. Bonjour la chenille. Isn't he beautiful? Okay, I'm going to put him down for one minute um, whilst we look inside Le Sac Magique and try and find out a little bit more about this character. Okay, let's get Le Sac Magique. Voilà, Le Sac. Who can you guess is the character inside the bag today? Is it Lilou, la souris? Is it Jean, la grenouille? Or is it Oscar, le chien? Let's see who is, is inside. Coucou, qui est là? Oh, j'arrive. Oh, does that give you a clue? <laughs> Whose tail is this? Black and white, very furry. It's got to be the one and only Oscar. Bonjour Oscar. Bonjour les enfants. Comment allez-vous? Je vais très bien. C'est le printemps et j'adore courir dans le jardin. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> oh, fantastic. He loves to chase butterflies in the garden. Oui, j'adore. Je saute et je rattrape. <laughs> okay, he likes jumping and then catching them. Now, before we chase any butterflies, what did you bring in your bag today? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans ton sac? Ah oh, oui, bien sûr. Of course, it's what I told you about before. Let's have a look. It's Oscar's favourite bedtime story. Can you see who it is? Yeah, it's La Chenille, the caterpillar that we've just seen in the box. La Chenille qui fait des trous. Hmm, Oscar, that's a different title to ours. In English we say the very hungry caterpillar. Yes. I wonder what happens to him in this story. Because in French the title is la chenille, so the caterpillar, qui fait des trous, who makes holes. I wonder why it says that. Let's have a look inside the book. We won't read it today, but we're going to have a look. Of course. Yes, this page here tells us all about the holes he munches through in all the different fruits. And he eats the fruits and all the food during the week. Now, to read this story in French, we have to learn something really important. And that is the days of the week in French. Can you help us, Oscar? Oui, je connais un chanson à propos de la semaine. Great, he knows a song that we can sing all about the days of the week in French. Let me pop the book down. Merci, Oscar. Uh, I tell you what, Oscar, you have a little rest in your bag and we'll get the song out, okay? So can we all say au revoir, Oscar? Au revoir, les enfants. Au revoir, Oscar. Au revoir. 
He's going back in the bag. Merci, Oscar. You've been very helpful today. We'll see you soon. Très bien. Okay, off he goes over there. Now, I'm going to explain to you a song which is going to help us learn the days of the week in French. Now, how do we say them in English? I think you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, what comes next? Friday, and then it's the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Now, in French, of course, we use different words because it's a different language. So for Monday, we would say lundi, lundi, lundi is a bit like Monday, Monday, it ends with the D, so lundi, Monday, lundi. Now the next day is mardi, mardi, again it ends like D, can you say D? Well done, that's how we say the day bit of the week. So we say lundi, mardi. Now Wednesday is mercredi, mercredi. That's quite hard to say. Mercredi. That's Wednesday. Thursday, we say jeudi, jeudi. So j sound. Can you do that? J. <laughs> Very good. So we've got four days already. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, Friday. Friday, we say vendredi. Vendredi is Friday. Vendredi. Again, it ends with the D. Then it's great because we go on to the weekend. And the weekend we say samedi, samedi. Try samedi. So again, it ends with a D. Now Sunday is a bit different because it doesn't end with a D. It ends with a manche. Manche. So we say dimanche. So actually, it begins with a D. <laughs> so we go dimanche. Wow. Let's run through them again. Lundi. Mardi. Mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Bravo, well done, really good. Now, as we know, there are seven days in a week. Il y a sept jours dans la semaine. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Seven days in the week. La semaine is the week in French. Il y a sept jours dans la semaine. So in our song that we're going to sing, which will help you remember this, I would like you to pretend you have a very grand piano in front of you. And can you play on the keyboard? So go, play all the keys up and down. Now, with this song, you'll hear lots of chords of the piano. Dum, 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 dum. You play. Bum, 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 bum. So you can pretend to play the piano whilst we're singing this song. And instead of uh, going up and down the keyboard, we can play chords. So we play lots of notes together. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, Vendredi, samedi, and this is where we play the notes. Dimanche. You try that. Dimanche. That's a Sunday. And then we count. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Les sept jours de la semaine. So the seven days of the week. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Les sept jours de la semaine. Wow, lots to remember. But this is how we say the days of the week in French, okay? So I'm going to put the music on now. 
So, are you ready with your keyboard in front of you, with your wiggly fingers going to go up and down the keys? I'm going to sing the song together. Put the music on. Ready? Get ready, get ready. Alright, let's start. There's the chords, can you hear it? Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, les sept jours de la semaine. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, les sept jours de la semaine. Ready again? Lundi, mardi, mercredi. Jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Les sept jours de la semaine. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Les sept jours de la semaine. One more time. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi. Samedi, dimanche. And then dimanche again. Dimanche. Bravo. <laughs> now that song is a really good song because we can repeat the days of the week all over again and again. And we'll be doing that next week. So remember, can you think what day of the week it is today? Is it Monday? Lundi? Is it Tuesday? Mardi? Is it Wednesday? Mercredi. Is it Thursday? Jeudi. Is it Friday? Vendredi. Now, if it's the weekend, we say Samedi, Saturday, Dimanche. Dimanche. Bravo. Oh, so clever. We have done the days of the week together. Now, of course, next week we will explore the story of the hungry caterpillar or la chenille qui fait des trous and we'll find out what journey he goes on because he doesn't stay a caterpillar forever, does he? No, he turns into something different. And I'm wondering whether you can tell me what he turns into. Is it a dog? Un chien? I don't think so. Is it a spider? Une araignée? Or is it un papillon? A butterfly? I think it might be. We'll find out next week. Now we do know a song all about a papillon and you will need your brightly coloured scarves for this song because it's our vola 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 papillon song. So get your scarves. I've got mine here. I've got two actually. I've got a pink one, very bright pink one, and an orange one. So une rose et un orange. There we go. So we are going to sing vola 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 papillon. So you can do it. I'm going to sit down, but you can stand up for this one and wave your scarves up and down, up and down. And do remember, you have to turn, so you can turn around and wave your scarf around like that. And do you remember, we have to do our butterfly hands, very pretty hands like that. Allez jolie ma mesdames, allez jolie ma que j'ai. And then do you remember at the end, oh, that's the best bit, we have to hide. Il faut se cacher. And then we count to three. Un, deux, trois. And then what happens? We go cuckoo! That's right, we play hide and seek. Okay, have you got your scarves? Fantastic, we will put some music on and have a little dance. Are you ready? Off we go. Yeah, we'll get the scarves and start flapping up and down. Vola, 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 papillon. Oh, this is the morning. Vole, 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 papillon Au-dessus de ma maison Tournez, tournez Les jolis moulins Frappez, frappez Les petites mains Allez, jolies mains, mesdames Allez, jolies mains que j'ai Allez, jolies mains, mesdames Allez, jolies mains que j'ai 
wide enough. Let's play. Let's sing one more time. Ready? Vola vola, vola vola vola, papillon. Can you hide again? Let's try. We go. Un, deux, trois. Coucou! Bravo! <laughs> now you can put your scarves away. And that's wonderful. So they're nice and tidy and you can find them for next time. Well done. Super! So we put away our scarves and we can think about what we've learnt in today's lesson. We did the days of the week in French. That's fantastic. That's another seven new words that you've learned today. And it's a great song to keep practicing. We will do it again next week. We've discovered a new insect in French, la chenille. La chenille qui fait des trous. Not just any caterpillar, the one who's hungry. Yes, so we will discover a bit more about him next week. We, and we've sung our new song about the days of the week and uh, many more. So well done for sitting so nicely and uh, le learning lots of French. So it's been a pleasure to see you again and look after yourselves. I shall see you again next week. So what do we say to each other? Give each other a wave and say au revoir, au revoir.